Oh yeah, oh, so Makita has finally done it. They brought out the microwave. A lot of people have been waiting for this for a long time. And if you didn't know, I'm Matt, I do tool reviews. I'm currently renovating, doing videos on that. But I thought we would jump into this this week. I am currently cooking this one up just for lunch. So I'm actually working at the house in the moment. Figured I'd give this a go. I've mainly cooked toasted sandwiches in it because you do get the toasty sandwich maker thing that comes with it at the moment, which actually works really well. And I showed that in one of the shorter videos on YouTube, but this one takes about six minutes. It's fully frozen. So it normally takes six minutes on high. I don't know how well this is gonna go, whether it takes that six minutes or it's gonna probably almost double because with your regular microwaves, they go around the 1000 to 1100 Watts. This is only up to 500 Watts. So it's half the wattage of a regular microwave. It is an inverter kind, so it doesn't actually spin. I don't know if you can see much in there, but it doesn't spin. And obviously being that 500, I think it might have to do a little bit longer than six minutes. So we're gonna see, obviously you've got the two batteries, 240 volt. These are two four amp hour batteries. This is the XGT, it only takes the XGT batteries. So if you are on that 18 volt gear, you're not gonna be able to utilize this, sorry. We're coming down to the final seven seconds. You can see it's already used two bars of one battery. With the two four amp hour batteries, they say you'll get around 15 minutes, but then with two eight amp hour batteries, you're getting 35 minutes worth of runtime. So we are ready, that's been six minutes. It's definitely warm but those sausages have still got a bit more to go. Give it a bit of a mix up. I think we might just go another two, two, maybe three minutes. We'll do two minutes and see, and see what happens. We'll go two minutes. It's quite easy to use. Actually, what's the highest you'll go up to? If you just want to let it go. I wasn't actually expecting that, thought it might have been, oh no, there we go, max 20 minutes. Back up to two and off we go. So you do have a USB down the front here, which is a good little feature, so you can charge your phone off it while you're uh, working or cooking. And also on the specs it says it's got a tempered glass front and that it is dust and water resistant. So I'm not exactly sure to what depth it is, like if you leave it out in the rain, it doesn't actually look like there's too many areas where the water and dust can get in, which is pretty good. You've obviously got this down the front. Feels like that's where the fans are. Here we go, we've got a countdown, 10 more seconds. So what's that about eight minutes? Still a little bit cold in the middle. Might get another two minutes. So apparently a lot of these actually getting sold. I've talked to quite a few people now that are using them. So I know at least one was a concreter. He just wanted to get a microwave so he could cook whatever. He didn't want to have to do the inverter and all the electronics in the big van in the car. Um, so you just went out and got this. It is a thousand bucks. So I think you're looking at 999 bucks. Some people are complaining about the price, but when you're looking at something that's gonna be running off batteries and what it is, it is nice and compact. I actually like the size and basically just the convenience. You don't have to do all the electronics in the car. You don't have to pay for the whole setup and get everything wired. You literally go down the shop and you can buy it right then and then. If you are on the XGT batteries already, it just makes it a little bit easier. Obviously, if you're gonna to have to jump over to the whole Makita XGT range, um, to, you're gonna to have to buy the batteries, you're gonna to have to get the charger, then you might not be fully justified getting on it. But at the end of the day, if you just want something that's nice and easy, it uh, definitely makes it that way. Yeah, that feels bloody hot. Yeah, I think that's cooked, we'll give it a go. A few peas in there as well. <laughs> Wouldn't say it's how mum used to make it, but that's hot. Let's see the steam. Don't know if you can see the steam coming off, but she's definitely cooked. So that was 10 minutes, fully frozen. It did say up to six. So it definitely takes a little bit longer to cook. We are down, there you go, pretty much a whole battery. So 
It'd be interesting to see how much longer that can go. I might even do another test where I just cook something for over 15 minutes and see if it gets more because if that was only 10 minutes, I reckon you might be able to get a bit more. So it's just under 10 kilos. I think they said 9.9 .9 kilos with the four amp hour battery. So getting it in and off site isn't too bad. You can throw it on your trolley, on whatever gear you're rolling in and out. You can just carry it in. It's a little bit awkward, but realistically, at the end of the day, it is a microwave. So I'd love to hear from you guys about what you think of the Makita microwave. Is it something that's on your list? Have you already bought it? If you have, I'd love to see and hear about your setups. So that's it from me. Catch us on the next one.